that was the very first protege to run in the world challenge. That progressed, the relationship with Mazda grew, and we started building Spec Me Auto parts for them. What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have been out here in San Diego, California all weekend for TwitchCon, but today we're gonna to be bringing you inside AWR Racing. We're getting a special look inside AWR. We're gonna be learning about the company, how it started, the products they make, and we're gonna be checking out their shop. So stay tuned. We're gonna go ahead, head inside, and show you everything about AWR. professional race experience he puts towards our product. So he designs everything, he builds everything um, out in the shop. We do, I don't know if you guys know the celebrity Adam Carolla. Yeah. We do mostly all of his car restorations that go in his museum. Oh, okay. Um, so we moved, as a child I moved several times and then finally we moved out to a, a place in Ontario in Canada a shop, we had a huge shop, two of them. And uh, I was 13 years old and I started working for my dad at that point, going to school, coming home and working until we you know when and then going back to school the next day, yeah. that thing. And we started a restoration business out there, but he'd already had uh, an automotive service industry he was in. Hmm. Uh, he worked for, he uh, had a dealership, British Leyland dealership for doing MGBs and those sort of, if anybody knows what they are anymore, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> the Triumphs. Um, and he grew up racing, building race cars and stuff like that. So then in 1979, we were hit by a tornado in, at the shop in Ontario. It destroyed the place. Oh. Wow. And we moved into, into the main town, Brantford, Ontario, and uh, started, he started his business and, and within the same, under the same roof, I started mine. In the process of doing that, I met Sherry, and she moved down here. The family moved down here, and then so we chased each other around for a few years and moved. We both moved down here, and settled in, and we've been here forever, seems like. And uh, that team, that Nissan team, brought us to Vista, and Nissan said put money into the team and moved them down here. And I was joined. I joined on in eighty, late eighty-eight. I was a crew mem crew member, tire changer, engine changer, tranny changer, parts changer. Yeah, <laughs> you want to look a little at bit it. of everything. Yeah. yeah, on the road all the time. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Traveled the world. Yeah, it was pretty impressive. I started out on Chip Robinson's team, and then a year later, I was moved over to Jeff Brown's team for the next couple of years, and we won three championships. So when the car was on the road and we weren't with it then I would come down and work in the fab shop with them, mm. building parts for the next ones. So, yeah. yeah. And then that folded. We were here, We Nissan said, come on down. We got a 10 year contract with NPTI, which is Nissan Performance. Told us to come down, we have a 10 year contract with Nissan. And we moved in, bought a house, got settled in. And three years later, it fell apart. I had a connection with Mazda the year before that with mm. uh, a GTU team. And that's where the relationship with them was built up from. Mm. And after the Nissan closed, I did a stint in uh, IndyCar, which I didn't care for. And then, so then I started Formula Atlantic. So I joined in with some Formula Atlantic teams, one up in uh, San Clemente, which was a pretty impressive team. And did that for a number of years. And, and as that progressed, the relationship with Mazda grew and we started building Spec Me Auto parts for them. And then we, were asked to put a rotary engine, the 12A, into a Formula Atlantic car. But that was the car that we ended up putting a rotary in first, which was that one, the Swift DB4. Other, they were built up in San Clemente. As we were doing, as we were doing this, we started to create uh, AWR, and then we went into full business in '95. 
and then it turned into we built this one yeah. but that was the very first protege to run in the world challenge that's cool series. i remember yeah. seeing pictures of these cars yeah. like on the forums like right. back in the day when i first got my protege. Okay, yeah <sighs> so we we built that and then it, it went into doing this sort of stuff with this company protomotive hmm. and then from building that car that's when we started to build the motor mouse and that's what it, this has turned into Hey, how's it going? Colin. Alex, nice, nice to meet you. Cole, nice, nice to meet you, man. So he does all the welding, mostly all of it. So. Yeah, um, I do like, I don't know, probably 95% of our production welding. Mm -hmm. You know, my dad will do the odd project here and there, but mm -hmm. um, most of our, of our uh, online store sales you know, get stacked up on those shelves over there, and they come over here, get welded, and then you know, we ship them to paint, so. It's kind of our operation. customer cars, they test them, and then we get them back, we draw them, and then send them to the CNC facilities. So we get them all back, and then we weld them all in-house. Yeah. Um, that's what makes it pretty cool, because we really inspect everything before it gets sent out. Um, and we also send it to Powder Coat from here, and then they're about a 15-minute drive from our shop, so uh, then we ship them out here. Very cool. Yeah. all our bushings so we use energy suspension polyurethane uh, we've used them for 28 years now uh, they're the brand we believe in and after all our testing we are very pleased with the results and the durability of these bushings and bushings are a normal wear item but i'd say they last they do last yeah. quite a while yeah. um it depends on the use i've had some run mouse for 16 years with no issues so awesome. yeah. yeah yeah um but all of our mounts have a lifetime warranty. Bushings are limited lifetime warranty, but um, they'll last you quite a, quite a while based on the durometer you choose. We offer four different durometers, 62, 70, 88, and 95. So I just want to say a big thank you to AWR for having us out. We had a lot of fun checking out the shop and learning about the business. If you haven't already, be sure to check them out at awrracing.com. This is a 100% family run business and all the products are made in the USA. They make products for all of these Ford and Mazda vehicles, as well as more than just motor mounts for the NA Miata here they have the rear brace tab kit, the tow hooks, the sway bar, the end links, the reinforced sway bar brackets, lots of good stuff to check out here at awrracing.com. And when you do find something you like, you can use my code, code ALEX at checkout to save yourself 10% off of your order. So that's going to do it for this one. Again, big thank you to AWR. Make sure to go check them out if you haven't already. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you for watching. Have an awesome week, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah.